Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to crochet this cushion cover from your inspirations. This pattern was designed by Katrin Ting. And for this pattern, I used the Stylecraft Special DK yarn in stone, gold, and copper. Labeled A, B, and C as they will be labeled like this throughout the pattern. And I used a 6mm crochet hook. We will begin by working on this middle section. In order to do that, make a slip knot and then chain 16 with color C. For the first row, we will single crochet starting from the second chain from the hook and then we will leave the last chain unworked for the corners. For row 2, we will chain 1 turn our work, then single crochet across the rest of the row. So the middle section will be made up of 49 single crochet rows and we will be alternating between colors C and B. So work 9 rows in total with color C, then 11 rows with B. And then repeat that once more, then work 9 more rows with color C, then fasten off. So here I'm just showing you how to change colors. You want to finish off with 2 loops on your hook. And then grab your new color. Attach that loop to your hook, pull it through the two loops, and that's it. You can now chain one, turn your work, and continue with the single crochet rows. We will now move on to working on the slip panel of the cushion cover. For this one, we will join color A with the chain one to the middle panel and then we will single crochet along the edge to the last chain. Work 4 more rows with color A, then 3 rows with color C and 5 rows with color B. And I'll meet you at the end to show you what's next. Now we can move on to the right side panel of the cushion. Make a slip knot and attach color A to the project using the chain 1 and then single crochet until the last chain. To make up this right side panel, we will work 2 more rows with color A, then 5 rows with B, 3 rows with C, 5 rows with A, then 7 rows with B, then fasten off. Now we're ready to work on the edging of the front panel of our cushion. Then just work a single crochet around while ensuring that you make 3 single crochets in every corner of your cushion cover. Then slip stitch into the first stitch to join. Thank you. 
For the pattern only called for 3 rows for the edging, I did a few extra rounds because I needed the width of the pillow to be 16 inches. For the back, you can either repeat the same pattern as you did for the front, or you could make a square that is made up of single crochets that matches the size of the front panel like I did. So now we're going to join the front and back panels of our work, and we will do this by placing the two pieces with the wrong sides together, and then stitching them together along three sides. I used the invisible seam stitch to join the pieces together, the invisible seam stitch is done by inserting your needle into the front loop of the panel that's closest to you and then in the back loop of the panel that's away from you and then doing exactly the same thing but from the other side. Insert your needle into the back loop of the panel that's furthest away from you and then into the front loop of the panel that's closest to you and then go ahead and repeat this for all three sides. So now that we're done with the three sides, we can insert our cushion and then just use the invisible seam stitch to stitch the last side together. And that's it, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if you did, please consider liking it or subscribing to my channel and I will see you next time with more videos like this one.